salivate metal here with a message about silver and its many options and forms that it can take made available for us to purchase and the like. But just as there are many options for purchasing silver, there are just as many opinions out there about those options and about which option is the right way to go. When I first started collecting or stacking, if you will, there wasn't nearly as many options available to me for purchase as there is now with the click of a mouse, anyone can get silver in various different forms from anywhere in the world and have it delivered more than likely within a month. It's so very fascinating to see how technology has changed, but where that technology has changed, it's also created a forum for which all of us can use to discuss metals, silver and gold and the like. And as of here with YouTube, not only do we have a forum from which to communicate, but we can also see the silver that we purchase or want to show. And it makes it more personal because you can hear a voice and you can see the surroundings and you can see things like this peace dollar and these other pieces here. It's a small sampling of those options available because silver now in bullion form comes in all shapes and sizes as we've seen from Silver Slacker's video with bars shaped like dog bones, cubes, pyramids, and skulls. The point is, is there's so many different options just in the world of bullion, not to mention the potentially numismatic modern pieces like the Lunar Series, Goats, and others. What it all comes down to is that there's a lot of opinions, and they should be expressed, but there's ways to express them and not be disagreeable. There's ways to disagree with others around you without being disagreeable. And there's ways to offer advice, even unsolicited. And I think most in the community would appreciate that advice. But I think what has been happening a lot in the silver community is been there's been a lot of digging beyond and making it even more personal for each of the stackers out there, for we each have our own distinct and unique personalities. And sometimes that rubs off the wrong way on people. And other times it can be a point of affinity. So just keep that in mind. I'm sure that there's many detractors out there who probably aren't fans of me for one reason or, or another. But just as Silverfish had mentioned in his video, and silver NW as well. You know, there's we all have one thing in common. We all enjoy these precious metals. And I think it's really incumbent upon us to realize that when it all is said and done, no matter what kind of purchases we make, we always have the value of the intrinsic if all else fails in these purchases that we make, whether they're smart or not. Because for me, as a collector, first and foremost, the intrinsic is just a wonderful benefit, but I purchase these pieces because I enjoy them. As Trailer Joe always says at the end of his videos, buy what you like and like what you buy. Mm -hmm. And that motto is one that I've stuck with since I began collecting or stacking. And most certainly, there's going to be those of us out there who make purchases and overpay or in some cases even make purchases and it turns out not to be real silver there's ways to be smart about it there's ways to advise others out there but when it's all said and done it all comes back to respect because there's so many in the world that don't collect silver of any form and they don't know the value of it but we do so let's keep that in mind and I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.